What is going on guys? My name is Ron Vivek again from Moment Reviews here with another episode of We Never Learn. I don't know why I said V. We Never <laughs> Learn Boku Ben episode 11. An illustrious veteran sometimes serves X. I have no idea where this is going to go. I could actually go and look at the summary a little quickly, but... Nah, I'm good. Um, so a lot of people were asking <laughs> why I basically swapped waifus faster than I should have. <laughs> so I, I, I guess I might have poorly explained this in the last video, but in terms of like what I want in a girl, like me personally, like what attracts me the most, both Asami and Kirisu Sensei, by far like beat the other girls like what i actually want and i'm not talking about physical like physical characteristics i mean those are great and all but i mean in terms of personality their mentality and as someone who knows awesome like much more than what you guys have seen in one episode yeah she's she is a bit of a tease and she becomes even more of a tease later on but after experiencing her last chapter her latest chapters and even with kirisu both both of them are really damn good and i love both and i know kirisu sensei is actually the fan favorite out of everyone in terms of the series um uh, not the anime series, because the anime series, I think Furuhashi is still number one. Um, no, actually, no, Takamoto is number one, and then Furuhashi is number two, then it's Kirisu, then it's Ryuzu, I think, in terms of popularity. Um, but in terms of the majority popularity in the actual series for the manga that's ongoing, um, it's Kirisu, and I think it's Asami right under her, I believe, is the majority? Um... Either that or Furuhashi, because usually Furuhashi and Asami are very high up, but it's usually... I mean, the numbers definitely fluctuate after certain chapters are released about them. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, me personally, I love Asami. Um, I, I don't know, I've always liked that teasing kind of mentality. Um, and I think that's what l edges her just a little bit above Sensei. And I, I'm, I'm kind of saying this as an anime guy, but I, I knew Asami was great. And like I said, Asami and Kirisu are both really high up for me. They're actually leaps and bounds ahead of the other girls as of right now. Uh, but yeah, right now. Right now. That's not the list. Hold on. Right now, I had to hold up this sign. But, remember, look at the very bottom. Outside of Kirisu Sensei. Because right now, yes, Kirisu Sensei still is the best girl. But let me have my moment. And root for, uh, and cheer on for our, uh, our best girl so far. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this. Um, hopefully you guys are too. So yeah, without further ado, let us jump in to Bokuben. Episode 11, starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jump. Best girl. She has to go home to see her real, the real husband, though. <laughs> oh, if only you knew. Although that cat is adorable. Pinot Noir. I still I still need to get a knack of wine. That is something that you definitely get you definitely like more as you grow grow up. <laughs> You're gonna get Nerky, she's gonna get the <laughs> Being best girl. By the way, you know how they say too many waifus will ruin your life? Uh, fuck it, I'm ready to die. Uh, the, when the two best girls meet, 
Y'all can fight me. <laughs> no, okay, like, it, it really is hard for me to pick, like, if I had to pick one. I think the only reason why I would actually, like, uh, like, <sighs> yes, in reality, I would pick Kiruso over Asami, simply because, one, it's older older woman, and honestly, like, I've kind of wanted only to date older women simply because most of the time they have their shit together. Most. Not always. I just realized I should probably turn off the volume for the intro because it will get hit with something. So I just realized that. But, yeah. Also, I do apologize if I'm a little bit out of it. My back is really killing me. I, I, I think I heard it at work. Um, and it's been really irritating, like, near the end of the, uh, of, um, Demon Slayer, it was getting really bad, and, like, I'm in a lot of pain right now. That's why I'm drinking. So hopefully it's not as bad. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then after this, I'm gonna be watching, uh, Kakagurui with my roommate, so looking forward to that. An illustrious veteran. That's... Because they're not teach teacher student anymore. <laughs> Just got a point. <laughs> Hitting here. Nice. You lucky son of a bitch. You got the literal two best girls fighting over you. I envy you. You done fucked up Kira well actually it was more of Was it Kira so? Did you did that she let go? Hmm. What sprain a uh, sprained ankle? I'm dead. I've died. Uh, this is just a soul. This is just a vessel. My soul's already got gone. <laughs> Main my fuyu. Mm, just she's totally like. It's weird, like, I expect a bigger blush because she was complete, well, for the most part, completely red. Oh, this happens later. <sighs> Something else is awakened, too. <laughs> Reasons. Are you mm -hmm.
That ass is like an onion. Brings tears to my eyes. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. This isn't good for my heart, man. I mean, the moment, I, the first thing that I hear when I hear of clumsy mate, I think of uh, Felicia from um, Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah, he likes to help out people. Sorry, it's a little out of my, my on my ears. He always hopes. That is like something you should always strive to be. Like I, I know I could always do better on that. Kind of, I keep in my own bubble though. Like in reality, I, I, I work. I do my own. I do my job. I'll help out when I can, but I don't. I don't actively look out for approval. I just help out because I feel like it's better that way. Are they eating omur? Oh, that's all. That is omur rice. Omur rice. That is one thing I've always wanted to try. I don't think we actually have a place that sells omur rice here in Vegas that I can think of. When I go to LA for an Anime Expo, though, I'm, I definitely want to see if they have a place that sells omur rice. It's not going to be as good as you know in Japan, but. Uh, but yeah, I'm thoroughly looking forward to that. It pushed her to go through with it. That actually is true. I've actually known people who do that. It's like a reverse psychology kind of thing. Oh, she gave you the uh, green light, it seems like. Oh, I can't believe Kirisu Sensei's fucking dead. <laughs> She's. I don't know. I'm. I mean, I can actually start holding liquor now because, you know. But, oh, you lucky son of a bitch. God damn it, Kirisu, you're so good. Real talk, guys. I am really curious, though. Like, you should really. You should really look into, like, this was just a sort of, like, why Kirisu Sensei is considered best girl. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think he, he kind of needs to on that one. <laughs> no, just a compliment to anything. <laughs> You're so Kyrus is so good. No, you can't. No. This is a completely sensei centered episode. I'm not complaining. But, damn. I'm, I'm perfectly fine for this. Are we actually going to get a little bit of her backstory? I wonder. Boobs. And yes, I did just look at my lips at that. Don't you judge me. And so you literally have nothing to wear. She legitimately looks just like a high school girl. You look pretty good in almost anything, Kirsu Sensei. Just saying. Just say you had nothing else to wear. It's very simple. Flustered Kirisu. <laughs> Damn, Naruyuki coming in clutch. Coming in clutch, Naruyuki. That's why you're great. You're a good. You're a good MC. Oh, look at that blush! Look at that blush! It's just best girl wearing an outfit. <laughs> that means he understands you, girl. Deja vu! <laughs> I've just been in this space before. <laughs> I hear all the streets. <laughs> I can't. Please tell me I'm not the only one who thought that. <laughs> please, please give me an initial D. Like, it totally. This, this is the initial it is. It really is! Jesus, we Tokyo Drift now, boys. That was good. And now you jinxed it. Hiking? It's a hiking club? I don't think... <sighs> yes, Kirisu has been into his home. Jesus. 
it's just one bad thing after the other. You lucky dog, you. I mean, you are. We are going to get her backstory. Nice. I'm glad. Her backstory finally got resolved about, like, what, six, seven, eight chapters ago? And it's been, maybe later, but it's been great. I think there comes a new chapter out today. Damn it. I actually, I legitimately do not remember this at all, like, in the mug at all. I don't remember it. Just realized I have a hair in my face. But yeah, he's such a great character. That could be taken so out of context. Just saying. Why would that be a... Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, checkmate. It's my treat. It's just two cents. <sighs> yeah, you just friend zone sensei, you son of a bitch. No. <laughs> Run. Get the fuck out of here. That was such a great little noise from the voice actress right there. <laughs> of course. Oh no, is it gonna drop on her? And it's gonna look very risque. You got, no, no, she's gonna squeal. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, guys. And no, I did not break my chair. It's that freaking... It's the uh, thing that stops it from going back anymore. It popped out of place. see that face let me see it let me see it before i mute the thing oh you're not gonna show it to me oh all right i'm gonna mute the thing i'm gonna go stretch out a little bit because like i said my back um we're, we're, we're gonna see your face at the end like i i i can guarantee that we're gonna see the face at the end it's gonna be magnificent Ugh. But no, okay, so I legitimately don't remember most of this. I think I remember the kissing scene, though. I don't remember the whole ice cream incident. Because <laughs> usually when it involves ice cream, 
and like something risque it reminds me of Boku no Pico when I cry a little bit on the inside. Uh, but yeah. I'm actually surprised though. We didn't get as much Asumi as I expected. That means I really hope she gets a good amount of screen time for the next episode because next episode is done. We're done. Holy shit. I just realized that. Next episode, we're done with everything. That is a little bit hard to swallow, though. But, yeah. How do you guys feel about Kirisu Sensei, though? Like, for the anime-only guys? Because most, um, most manga readers usually, like I said, agree that she is best girl. But, yeah. Alright. Let's go see this last ending scene. She was happy, but not the fact big. Oh, you're so good. She's so good. I'm already dead. Uh, ask me. Ask me getting in that last one. Oh, we're getting more of a backstory on Takamoto for the last episode. Interesting choice. Damn. All right, so I have a feeling they are going to be banking, kind of like the fact we go to Bono Hanayome, they're banking on the fact that they're going to get a second season, which they're most likely going to get because Bokutachi, this, is very popular in Japan. Not as popular as Gotobu no Hanayome, by, mind you, but it's very popular, like, and, and it's very popular in the, in the West, so more than likely we're going to get a second season, and I'm perfectly fine with that, because we're going to probably start delving into the more interesting aspects on it, and I'm really hoping we do. Um, I don't mind if it takes a little bit, maybe it'll be next year when we get it, but I am looking forward to it nonetheless. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to hurry up and upload this and go take a pain reliever because I my back is still in a lot of pain. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.